hello, hello. Welcome back for episode 160 of Hunter Toon. Kind of crazy. I already have 160 videos on my channel, um, and I just started recently going hard the last year on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, definitely kind of crazy for me to think of how many videos I've put out. Um, hopefully you guys are still enjoying them, uh, doing daily uploads for the most part. But, uh, yeah, we are working on the EK hatch again today, and we're going to finish up the suspension. We got the rear done in the last video. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go check it out before you watch this one. Um, but the rear is pretty much buttoned up. I'm just going to be installing some more parts that I got for it. Uh, sorry, my bench is a mess here. But uh, I got a rear camber kit for the car. So this is adjustable camber. Uh, usually when you uh, lower the back of the car, the wheels are gonna tip in quite a bit, which these ones aren't too bad currently. But I bet you once it settles in and everything like that, they're going to tip in and have a little bit of negative camber, which will wear the tires out and you might be called a, uh, you might be a little bit of a douchebag having tilty wheels. I'm just kidding. It's just not my style. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to throw that camber kit on and then tidy up all the other stuff in the rear, tighten all the collars on the coilovers, and then we're going to move on to the front suspension. So uh, yeah, let me get this jacked up and we'll pull the rear camber kit off and uh, install that. Okay, so I just got the uh, passenger side all buttoned up. She's looking mint. Um, I actually had to burn the bushing out of this because like I said, these rear suspension parts on Hondas are kind of a pain sometimes. But uh, the two bolts in the frame came right out, but the bolt that came bolts onto the trailing arm here was kind of a pain. I had to burn it out, but I did get the camber kit installed and everything's tightened up. Uh, I got the two bolts into the frame. Like I said, those ones came out good, so that's always a good thing. Um, everything seems to be good. All I did was I took the camber kit and I pretty much lined it up and uh, just kind of eyeballed it to see or to compare it to the length of the stock one. That's pretty much what I wanted for now. Uh, just put it where the stock one was and uh, you know see where it sits. Now, I will be getting an alignment on this car as soon as I get all the suspension parts done. Like I said, I'm just doing all this, um, you know, eyeballing it for now. Um, and then, you know, a few weeks from now or whenever I get some time and money, I will uh, go take this car and get it aligned. And then once it's aligned, the suspension should be completely good for pretty much ever. So hopefully the uh, driver's side comes apart good and we can get that one all sort of sorted out. And then the rear suspension is done. So we'll move on to the front after that. And uh, I'll pick up when the rear suspension is completely done. And now the driver's side is all done. I got it all uh, bolted up and uh, did the same thing on this side. Just kind of eyeballed it to set the uh, camber. And that's all good to go. This bolt also was a pain in the ass. I had to cut it and yeah. There's uh, the bolt that I cut. Junk. So yeah, rear's all done. Hello, we are back with another episode of T-Bags Customs. <laughs> well, we are currently throwing on the passenger side uh, coilovers and my upper control arms. Uh, we had some issues getting the ball joint out, but we got her. And, uh, yeah, we're just sending it. Also, these, uh, I don't know if you guys remember in the last video, this sleeve right here, I said I didn't know what they were for, and these shocks are actually meant for like an EF spindle, which the EF spindle has a smaller diameter bore for the shock, and this spacer just allows for you to run either EG spindles, EG, EK, or EF, you can run either or. So yeah, now we're just throwing it all together, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how dirt nasty low this thing is. So Hunter, what are we installing today? <laughs> um, some junk. Max speeding rods coilovers, yeah. AKA eBay as hell. Uh huh. Adjustable dampening coilovers. All the adjustability. Oh yeah. All right, so T-Bag already proceeded to uh, loosen up the ball joint nut on this side. So now we're just gonna smack this son of a gun till it pops. Just, Just like, like so. And then uh, we can take off our brake line right here, 210 mils. 
This is gonna be uncut. What's up? Gotta be speedy. No power tools here, boys. We real motherfucker. Ooh, can't say that. <laughs> Use your imagination, kids. Photosynthesis. Future. <laughs> I'm ugly and I'm proud. <laughs> okay, uh, next is uh, we're going to take off the 14 mil on the shock, which holds the bottom of the shock to the actual shock. And uh, we'll have to break out Mr. Trusty Air Impact here. Just because. And there's the compressor. Yeah. My power tool is kind of blow ass. So breaker bar it is. She's cracked loose. Now we can use the impact again. Get it the rest of the way. Come on! You can do it! Ah! Woohoo! Okay, there's your shock bolt. And then there's another shock bolt on the bottom. Uh, it's a 17 mil, and then a 17 mil nut on the other side. All right. Bitch. You know what they say, Hunter. If the ladies don't find you attractive, at least they'll find you handy. Right. <laughs> Good old red green. take off the bolts on the top so we're gonna pop off the uh, the bolt right here for the lower control arm and then there's one on the opposite side and then two 14s right here Work it. 
work in. Oh, we got it. So that bolt back there is kind of a pain to get to, but uh, just use a ratcheting 14 wrench and uh, you're dialed. Dog pile, chicken smile, mint. Right. All right, so now this arm should come right out. Or not. It's hung up on that doohick. Oh, we got her. Got her, otter. Hey, 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 easy, easy. Oh, you're fine, you big baby. Voila. I gotta pound the frickin' thing off of there. Yeah, well, you Take know. the hammer and just pound her off. Now we gotta put that sleeve inside of there. And it's got a little lip on it, so the lip is gonna face up so it doesn't go any farther. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. plus two equals ten. Yeah, exactly. Done. Now you need to set your preload. And you'll I just I just set them like wherever they were stock. So I'm gonna set this. I set the other oh, one you at did four and a half, did you? four and a half turns out from bottom out. Okay, so there's bottomed out. We're gonna go half, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half. Send it. There. Oh, take this freaking brake thing off too, it's annoying. All right, guys, we got the car back on the ground now and we're about to take it for its first test drive and see how these new coilovers ride and how they handle and stuff like that. So you can see that the front is almost maxed out and the wheel gap uh, it's like a half an inch higher in the front almost bottomed out. So I'm actually thinking that these coils are for an EF um, And they just kind of say whatever and give you the little spacer thing to convert it because EF spindles or EF uh, uh, Strut forks are actually shorter than EG and EK. So That kind of sucks, but whatever I might just jack up the rear just a little bit so it'll look a little bit more level, but uh, Yeah this is what we're looking like so far. Can you see me? Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of dark outside, so I apologize if you guys can't see shit. But uh, it's, it, the cable's actually in the bumper. No, you can just pull on it. All right, guys. So, so far, this thing rides like a fucking two by four. It rides like a bucket. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, I turned the dampening all the way to the right. So I think I'm actually gonna play with it and I'm gonna uh, set the dampening. Uh, where did it go? Right here. <laughs> I'm actually going to play with the dampening a little bit and I'm gonna set it all the way to the other side and see if it gets any better. Because like I said, right now it's really bouncy. So uh, yeah, we're uh, turning them all the way to the left. That one all the way to the left? All right. We'll do the front and the rear. We'll see if this dampening does anything or not. You gotta wait for the, the left camera to focus because it's dark out. It takes like five seconds. Um, actually come into work and work in here. All right, so we're driving this thing around and we just turn the dampening all the way to the left instead of the right. It doesn't have like a uh, like a diagram on the shock or anything to tell you what way is stiff and what way is soft. But holy shit, holy totally different car <laughs> uh, from all the way to the right to all the way to the left. So this dampening definitely works. And the car actually drives around and I'm not getting freaking whiplash from bumps. So this thing is actually riding pretty decent now. Like, you can't even really feel the bumps. So I think I'm going to leave them all the way to the left. Maybe I'll play with it a little bit, but I want to get my ride, head, ride height set perfectly. And then uh, we can mess with the dampening some more. But yeah, this is like a totally freaking different car now that the dampening is set. Uh, to the left. Feels like my uh, Elantra. It 
a secure Elantra. Yeah, don't ever buy a Elantra. Their suspension is rock hard. <laughs> this thing honestly feels like a set of lowering springs on stock struts. Yeah. It doesn't feel Which like mine a, didn't ride that bad on those true hards. It was just you could tell. It was, I mean, yeah. My uh, my favorite coilover of all time for Hondas is Function Form uh, or Skunk Two Pro Series if you're going race car, but. Uh, this honestly feels like a mixture of the two, I would say. I would probably say it feels more like a skunk coilover than a function, but... Skunk twos are always, I don't know. Yeah, plus the ride height has a lot to do with it too, I think. Yeah. Considering this thing's like super low right now, it might ride a lot better once it's uh, raised up a little bit in the rear. Well then doesn't the, the spring... Uh, Spring capacity itself isn't that rated? Like yeah, 6, I don't know 000, what. I don't know what springs are on this thing, but yeah, that's definitely something that you know you can look into. Okay, so we are taking a break from my Civic for a little while, and we're working on Mr. T Big Customs LS VTEC motor. Uh, we already got the rods and pistons installed. I tried freaking live streaming while we were doing it, and I seem to always have connection issues when I do live streams. So I apologize. I definitely got to get something sorted out with that. But uh, anyways, we got Eagle Rods, SRP Pistons, and we got the rings gapped, everything, and we got all the rods and pistons into the block here. So now everything is ready to go for the crank to get installed. We got everything oiled up, and now we're going to be installing the crankshaft. Just like so. So now we can get the uh, main caps all torqued down and get the rods all torqued down and then we can move on to some other stuff like the oil pump, the rear main seal, windage tray, pickup tube, oil pan, etc. Alright, so we got this B18 uh, LS motor all assembled with the SRP pistons and Eagle rods. We used King bearings like I always do. And um, yeah, everything uh, spins super smooth. This thing uh, should run for a long time. He's sh the guy uh, T-Bag Faggot Customs is shooting for uh, like 400 horsepower. So this thing should be uh, plenty good for that. But uh, I don't know. Should we do a compression test on it? We should. All right. Mint. Mint! Alright guys, so uh, yeah, I'm going to pick up tomorrow and I'm probably going to adjust the suspension on my EK a little bit and raise the rear. Um, I don't know, play with the preloading a little bit and uh, probably drive it a little more when it's uh, daylight. But uh, we figured we'd get this bottom end together quick uh, for T-Bag's car. Uh, he's still got to get quite a bit of stuff for it, but uh, he's building a white... EK uh, coupe and that's what this thing's going into I don't know I have so many buddies right now with motors that I'm helping them with and customers that I'm helping and it's kind of overwhelming but uh, kind of cool hopefully this year at the track at WIR I want to have like a hunter tuned tent and I'm going to sell like t-shirts and stickers and stuff and then all the cars that I tuned should be able to park by me and all that kind of stuff so I'm hoping if all goes well and hunter tuned uh cars actually show up at WIR and go to race that we can all kind of be as like a squad mm -hmm. squad squad up we can be a squad and you know just go have some fun at the track like that PUBG life right that PUBG life same thing <laughs> squad but uh anyways yeah we'll pick up tomorrow with some more stuff guys uh sorry this video wasn't really dedicated to one thing or another but uh you know that's just how I roll deal with it I'm just kidding <laughs> but anyways like the video if you guys enjoy this, and subscribe if you guys are new, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Yeah! Fun